Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel called In Touch With Cultures. Today uh, I'm not in a Polish dress, I'm in Moroccan traditional dress and I come back to you with the topic like how to feel uh, as a part um, of, uh, of this uh, like mixed uh, community and uh, how to take the best part of it. Uh, I was uh, thinking that the, um, that before I was making the videos, I was really preparing a lot for these uh, videos. The material that I was uh, presenting was uh, was elaborated, etc. And um, now I will uh, I will like to change a little bit uh, this uh, system and to speak from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm a, a very emotional person, a very sensitive person. And, um, and I think that uh, like that, you can uh, get to know me better, get to know my personality. And I think that uh, today it is not about the information because the information we can find everywhere. Uh, it is for free, it is available, uh, the, the, you have uh, Wikipedia, you have uh, the encyclopedia, you have the books, you have the wonderful scientific uh, documents, etc. And, um, and what I would like to do in this world uh, is to be a little bit uh, like Mahatma Gandhi told to be the change uh, that you want to see in the world. I think that uh, my mission uh, in this world is to inspire people to change when it comes to the, the cultures, when it comes to the languages, when it comes to the mixed environment. I, uh, I'm, a I'm finally uh, embracing it because before it was not, uh, not always the case. I uh, grew up, I spent most of my life uh, in Poland and um, Although I, uh, I love uh, my country, I love my hometown, hometown I love uh, the society here, uh, I, I was not uh, always feeling at ease uh, with expressing my opinions about other cultures, about uh, the world uh, around me. Uh, because uh, not everyone was as open as, uh, as I am, not everyone was as tolerant as I am. There were a lot of prejudice. Um, of course, in the media, it was uh, first presented in the media and uh, in television and, uh, and people who, who didn't travel, uh, who, who didn't have this opportunity uh, to see it with uh, my eyes. Uh, they couldn't understand some of my choices. They couldn't understand uh, why I loved languages so much, why I loved cultures so much, why I, I chose uh, my, uh, my, my husband to be my husband, etc. And I was not feeling uh, like self, uh, like I was feeling insecure, let's say, when I was younger. I, um, I didn't embrace who I am and the fact is, the funny thing is that I was always the mix of everything, yeah? And now I see it as a big value, not a chaos, but a big value and from all of these cultures I'm taking whatever I like. Uh, for example, today I wanted to wear this Moroccan dress, I'm wearing it. A few years ago, if I would do it in Poland, not necessarily. And uh, I think that I had to grow up. I had to grow up. I had to learn how to, how to take position, how to, uh, how to be assertive, how to um, value my own uh, words, how to um, express freely my opinions, etc. YouTube uh, is helping me with that. The fact that I became a teacher uh, uh, also helped me. The fact that uh, my environment changed dramatically from only Polish people to the people from all over the world also, also helped me to embrace this change. And today I'm very proud of that. Today, this is exactly the part of my identity. I also expressed it in my thesis. 
uh, that uh, these intercultural aspects, they are not only something that I was studying for multiple years, it is also something that is the part of my human experience here on this planet. And um, why I created this video today, why I want to talk about it, is uh, sometimes uh, we don't have this courage. I didn't have this courage for the past years. They were the times where I didn't know how to, how to show people how open I am, etc. Of course, that we will always have stereotypes about some of the nations in our head. We cannot avoid it, yes? Um, but I learned to not judge people based on their nationality, to judge people based on what they bring to the world, how they behave, what uh, what uh, personality they have yes people can be bad people can be good uh, but we cannot judge them by having this white privilege or beauty privilege last years uh, more than ever i could imagine i i saw that uh, i have this white privilege that i have uh, also uh, this beauty privilege somehow yes that people who come from different backgrounds, that people uh, who uh, have different skin color, etc., are not treated equally, yes? Are not treating, treated the same way I am treated, yes? In the offices, in the, like, um, at school, at workplace, yes? In the shop, wherever, yes? I feel now that I'm privileged because I'm white and it is wrong, it is wrong. I hope that uh, in uh, maybe in 100 years, finally everyone will be equal. Uh, finally, uh, everyone uh, will be uh, will uh, will taste how to be a human, not only based on uh, the skin tone, etc., but also based on the value that this person brings to the world by simply being worthy because this person is a human being. And uh, we have to wait for this process. In some countries, it's uh, happening faster. In some countries, it's not happening as fast as we could wish it uh, to be, yes. Um, but uh, also what I would like to say is that if people judge you because uh, you married uh, a foreigner or if people judge you because uh, you are adapting some um, cultural uh, features that you don't have in your own culture, but uh, you find in other cultures, and and thanks to that uh, you you feel better. Don't care, honestly, don't care. These people are not compatible with you. Yes, find your own tribe. Let's say yes. Uh, I finally understood that not everyone will be in my tribe. And it's not wrong. We are just different. We don't have to force, yes, some relationships, some friendships. We don't have to, honestly, we don't have to. This earth is for everyone and everyone can find peace. Peace and ease with the, with the likewise people, yes? So uh, what I want to, to say here, it's not nothing like sophisticated. It is just the part of my experience that I want to share with you from my emotional point of view. They were the times when I was feeling lonely. They were the times when I was feeling misunderstood. But I never gave up because I knew inside of myself that this is who I am, that this is how I want to live. And now I have found this inner peace and I know that my choices are the best. My choices are the best for me. If they are not the best for someone else, this is not my problem. This is not my business. Yeah, And uh, it's a huge relief to finally admit it. And um, what I would also say that... Um, some people can be conservative, some people can believe uh, in this, uh, in God, some people can believe in Allah, some people can believe in Buddha, 
Some people can pray to all of them at the same time. Some people can have no religion. Some people uh, can have, uh, can have um, a high spirituality level. Some not at all. Yes, what I'm taking and what I'm incorporating into my life uh, it's also from the woman, women's perspective. Yes, I could be traditional Polish woman, Polish wife, Polish mother, etc. I could uh, be a very modern wine, one, Western. Honestly, who dictates what is good? Yes, this is only me who can choose. Or maybe I can also adapt some of the Eastern uh, cultures like uh, Indian cultures, etc. Maybe this is the ideal woman for me, the woman who is nurturing, the woman who is, uh, who is um, very feminine, etc. Or maybe it's a mix of Western, uh, very like uh, free spirit, liberated woman and Eastern. Maybe it's a mix of everything. And this is me who decides. And uh, what I recommend for everyone is that you are able in any moment of your life to change your decisions uh, accordingly to your heart, to your viewpoint, and to finally uh, feel this alignment in what you are doing, in what you are believing, etc. If before you, you believed in something else, that was okay for that given period. If now you believe in something else, that's also okay. Give yourself this permission to discover, to learn. We will learn all of our lives. And I don't know if at the end of my life I will be the same person I am now. But what I know is that I have finally found the courage inside of myself to freely express and embrace who I am. And I am multicultural. And I will be multicultural. Someone may not like it, but I no longer care. Thank you for today. I, um, I really uh, would love to see uh, and read what is your opinion about it, what experiences you have. And uh, just be honest with me, just be honest with yourself. If you want, you can uh, share your story. If not, maybe you can reflect on your own story. And uh, I hope that this video was inspiring. Thank you. Bye-bye.